So the Mad Tiger is yet another secret boss within Black Myth Wukong's Chapter 2. And upon you defeating him, you are rewarded the Mad Tiger's spirits, one of the best of you so far. And you also get the Plague Board Gold, which increases attack power at the cost of halving benefits of the Gold, a useful item to the right players. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and now I'm giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong. So if you'd like to win one for yourself or a friend, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick one winner from the comment section of one of my Black Myth videos and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. So the secret boss of the Mad Tiger is found down a creepy well, uh, which you will understand when you get to this point. But firstly, you have to do a few things before you can locate this well and fight the secret boss. So first, you need to have access to the Windrest Hamlet Shrine because we need to go and fight and take out the Tiger's Acolyte. Now, if you don't have this shrine unlocked within the chapter 2 area, follow this path I take on screen now from the common shrine of Windrest Bridge. Now, there will be a few enemies in your way. I've taken them out prior to make this guide easier to follow. So from the Windrest Hamlet Shrine, follow this path I take on screen now to the Tiger's Acolyte Bus. So upon this bridge is a Tiger's Acolyte, to be honest he is quite an easy boss, one of the easiest I fought in the game, so you shouldn't really have any issues here. So upon you taking him out, you get the Tiger's Acolyte Spirit and a few other things, but the main item here is the legendary old Rattle Drum. This is the key item for this quest. So once you have this guys, you now need to make your way back to the Wind Seal Gate Shrine. And from this point, follow this path I take on screen now. Now once you get to this point guys, you need to use that rattle drum wear prompt after hearing that creepy kid's voice. After using it, you need to take out all the enemies that come towards you and don't forget to grab that chest while you are at it people. Okay so once you are done here, you now need to head to the Windrest Hamlet Shrine and again guys follow this path I take on screen now.
Again, once you get here, after that prompt, use that rattle drum. And again, guys, take out all the enemies that do spawn in here. You now, guys, need to head to the Valley of Despair Shrine. And again, people follow the path I take on the screen now. Now when prompt to use that rattle drum here, a little cinematic will cut in where you see that creepy kid. And here is where that well appears and he jumps down asking you to follow. It reminds me of a scene out of that old school It movie. Come down and play with us. Well yes guys, upon you jumping down this well is that mad tiger boss fight. Now I won't lie, I fought all the tiger bosses in chapter 2, this guy I struggled with the most, I don't know why, maybe I'm tired or something, he just seemed to hit me really hard, but hey, I took him out after about 5 tries, so not too bad. But yes, upon you taking him out, you are rewarded his spirit, and there's also a chest in his fight arena, which once opened, you get that plague born god. And here we have it guys, yet another secret fight within the Black Myth Wukong chapter 2 area. As I find them, I'll bring them to you with complete guides on, so make sure you sub if you haven't already. On that note guys, the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.